What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warrior Aviators and it's your hero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today is another great Saturday and we're going to be doing yet another tutorial for you guys. But I have to start off with saying I'm sorry for last week I got busy um, and I just wasn't able to get out a video for you guys. But don't worry, today since you guys love when I do sword, we're going to be working on a sword trick, an XMA sword trick for you guys because you guys apparently love my XMA videos and love my sword videos. So I'm kind of, you know, making up for last week by doing something you guys love. So today we're going to be doing a horizontal sword toss just like that. So without further ado, let's run that intro. On a side note, these glasses kind of give me a static shock vibe, like a like a urban static shock vibe. I don't know, kind of kind of looks cool, at least to me it does. Let me know what you think in the comments. So the first thing you gotta want to know is not to try this out with a sword at first. Get a PVC pipe, get a stick in your backyard, um, something that's not a, a metal sword. Uh, because this is dangerous whether it's sharpened dull it can still hit you could still cut you could still poke your eyes it can still hurt you so be very careful when you're practicing with an actual sword because regardless of how sharp it is it can still hurt you so be very careful but with that said you're gonna take it in your right hand obviously you can do it with both hands just like that but we're gonna practice right-handed because I'm right-handed and most people out there in the world are right-handed I'm pretty sure so we're gonna practice right-handed for right now you're gonna take it with the right hand and you're going to get a rotation in the sword but instead of just launching it off in one direction you're going to spin the blade towards the outside and spin the handle towards the inside so you get almost a helicopter effect with your sword so when you look closely again my hand pushes the handle across so it can do the horizontal rotation just like this and it's not a big push you're not launching it in the other direction you're just giving it a little budge so it flips in front of you instead of spinning off in one direction if that makes sense to you guys so there are a ton of ways to, you can catch this. You can catch it up tie, you can catch it behind your back. There's a ton of creative ways you can come up with catch with to catch this. But the way I teach beginners is catch it with your palm facing up around where your torso is at, an, at a nice, easy height. So when you toss it, just nice, nice, easy height in that torso, letting it fall in your hand. You don't want to grab it, even though you can when you get more comfortable, when you start playing with uh, different ways to move your sword and different stuff to do like that. You can grab it up top, you can grab it below. But for beginners, I want you to let it fall right in your hand like that. Now guys, that is gonna be it for that video. I hope you enjoy uh, watching these tutorials. If you want me to do a special trick that you've seen on my Instagram or something like that, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, by the way, I do a bunch of tricks on Instagram, so check that out if you're, if you're interested. You can also, you know, know how to tell me um, what tricks to do in the future for this video. I also take requests off of Discord, so if you're not in my Discord server yet and have any requests for me, Discord is a great way to do that. Just, you know, jump in and say hi. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hit that notification so you don't miss my next post, uh, which will be Monday, and I got some good stuff for you on Monday. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.